Hello everyone, my name is Justin Zaruba. I'm one of the elders here at ACFC and we're glad you're here with us for another service, whether it's virtual or in person. We're just uh, we're just glad you're, you're joining in. Um, just a reminder, if you're visiting our church in person, if you could please uh, sign up in the, in the guest book, it's in your left as you walk into the front foyer at church. We just want to know who you are, where you're coming from, and uh, just how we can reach out to you and, and contact you if we if uh, we want to get a hold of you or if you've got any questions about our church. We appreciate that. Uh, Crisis Response is uh, tentatively planning a trip for hurricane relief down to Moorhead City, North Carolina, and that is from March 12th to the 19th of 2021. Uh, right now, Tim and Sue Diesler are looking for who may be interested in going, and if you've got any uh, questions for them, please feel free to contact Tim or Sue at 920-851-3104. Uh, the cost is approximately $525 per person. A uh, reminder, we will be having our traditional candlelight Christmas Eve service on December 24th at 5 o'clock. That is a Thursday. Um, please come and, and join in this special time with us for worship. So just kind of take take a step back from all the busyness that all too often leads up to Christmas and, and uh, just kind of flies by before we know it. Just time to get together, remember the birth of our Savior, and uh, sing some Christmas songs together. Uh, as a reminder here at ACFC, we do not pass the plate. We have the giving box located in the front of the foyer. Um, again, we do believe that giving is a key part of worship and, and we greatly appreciate your tithes and offerings. And there is also electronic versions available uh, via the Tithely app, uh, which information for that is available on the website or feel free to reach out to one of the elders if you have any questions. And of course, mail-in check or any other um, a form of payment like that is, is acceptable as well if mailed into the church or given in the giving box in person. Again, thank you for your continued support of our church. Uh, God has blessed us through these times, and uh, your faithfulness has is, is, is not gone unnoticed, and we appreciate it. Uh, just a reminder, we say this every week, but please take it to heart. Uh, other resources available during this time, we have the CARE Fund, the Lynn Billings Fund, different Facebook groups are available to help uh, connect during this time of, of disconnectedness, if you will. And uh, again, the volunteer resource for those who need some help um, please contact myself um, if for the volunteer resource or any of the elders if there's any needs that arise uh, sudden or, or long term. Uh, we we want to hear that. We want to address it as a church body and uh, just let you guys know that, that you're loved and we want to take care of you. Um, and please bring those things to our attention if you need to. And one final thing, lighting the Advent wreath today will be the Farmer family uh, if you're joining us in person at church. And uh, we look forward to that as, as we always do during this, uh, this time of the year. Please bow your heads with me as we pray for the service. Father, we just thank you so much for another Sunday, another Sunday to praise you, another Sunday to break away from this hectic life, Father, and, and help us to just slow down, Lord. Take this time of, of the season to heart uh, as, as we want to do every day, Lord, and just remember that Many, many years ago, this time of year, you you brought forward your son, Lord, the Savior who took our place on the cross, a, a debt we could never repay, a mercy and a grace that we don't deserve, Father, and, and yet you gave it to us because you love us that much. Help us to honor you. Help, to, help us to honor the sacrifice of Christ on that cross and how we conduct ourselves, Lord, Father, how we are lights to this world, especially in these times of divisiveness and, and just sin, Father, internal sin that just bleeds over into so many other problems. Uh, help us to be the, the salt and the light of the world as you call us to be, Lord, in everything we do. Father, we pray for open hearts and open ears today as we hear Pastor Greg's sermon. Just again, help us to put the busyness away and really take the message to heart and see how we can really apply it to our lives, Father, going forward. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> 